All right, guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a tray icon for your Electron application. I will show you a basic tray icon with just a dummy menu, but once you understand the concept, you can implement a tray icon that suits your application. Okay, let's get started. Again, I'm starting off with the basic Hello World application. In package.json, I've changed the name to tray demo and index.html, I've changed the title and the h1 tag. Now let's go to our main.js and for this application, we do not need a browser window. So I'm gonna remove the code. So we don't need this create window function anymore. And let me replace this create window with just a regular function. And then I'm going to remove this line of create window as well. Now the first thing we need to do is import the tray module from electron. So const tray is equal to electron dot tray. Next, we need an icon that represents our application in the system tray. So const icon path is equal to path dot join underscore underscore directory name. And I have an icon in our project directory which is YouTube logo dot jpg. So if you notice here, I have this YouTube logo image, which I will be using as the tray icon. So in the current project folder, there is a file YouTube logo dot jpg. And then we just join this path using the path module. Now when the app is ready, I can add this icon to the tray. So it is going to be new tray icon path. So let's run this and test it out. So cd into your project folder and then npm start. There is no browser window, but if you have a look at the system tray, we have our icon. Now nothing really happens when you click on this icon. So let's quickly add a context menu. Let's say you're creating a screen recording desktop application and you want to specify the audio levels and the resolution. So here's how we are going to create that context menu. First, we require menu from electron. So const menu is equal to electron dot menu. And then we will create a template. So I will copy paste the code and then explain what the menu is. So within app dot on ready, I'm going to paste the template. And this template has two menus, an audio menu and a video menu. Now this audio menu has two submenus, low and high, and they're of type radio buttons. And by default, the low submenu is checked. Similarly, in video, we have 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080, so two submenus. And by default, 1280 by 720 is checked. Okay, now that we have a template, we can create our context menu. So const context menu, is equal to menu dot build from template and we pass in the template. And then we can assign this menu to our application in the tray. So initially, let's say let tray is equal to null and then tray is equal to new tray. And then at the end, tray dot set context menu, context menu. So now if I restart the application, so control C, and then npm start, we should again have our application in the system tray. And when I right click on this, I have audio and video. So in audio, you can see that we have low and high, two radio buttons, and low is checked by default. Similarly, in video, we have 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080. And by default, this is checked. So I can click on high, and if I go back, high is selected and I can select 1920 by 1080. And if I go back, that is selected. So that is how you set a context menu for your application in the tray. And finally, what you might want to do is set a tooltip for your tray icon so that the user knows what that particular icon is. So right now, if I hover over this icon, I get nothing. So I have no clue what this application is. So in our app.onready, we can say tray dot set tooltip, and then we can pass in a title. 
I'm just going to name this as tray application. So let's restart our application, control C, npm start. And if I go to the system tray, when I hover over this, you can see that it mentions tray application. So this is the basic concept behind tray icons. You first require tray from electron, and then you build a menu for that particular tray, and then you assign that menu as a context menu to that particular tray, and then you can also set a tooltip so that the user knows what that icon represents. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.